we're starting off with none other than Bridgerton 3. At this point, Bridgerton has developed itself as one of the best period pieces on the internet. It's dramatic, aesthetic, and everything audiences look for in a historic drama. The last two seasons of the show mainly cover the story of two elder siblings of the Bridgerton family, Daphne and Anthony. Daphne went on marrying Duke Simon, and Anthony married Kate and made her the Viscountess. In the third season, a very complicated love story will be covered, the story of Colin and Penelope. And as we already know that Penelope herself is Lady Whistledown, fans are really excited to see how she juggles her writing career with her love life. It will also be interesting to see what Eloise does after knowing Penelope's reality. Moreover, Colin and Penelope had so much build-up from season one that the fans just want them to hook up now. Only a few pictures from the set for Bridgerton 3 have come out recently, and they pretty much broke the internet. Although the creators haven't announced a release date for the show yet, it's most likely to be released in the middle of 2023. Heartstopper 2 Heartstopper quickly became an absolute teen favourite with its happy-to-go comedy and aesthetic love story. It's the kind of queer show that we all want to see, and a lot of people can relate to the leading characters. So when Netflix announced that Heartstopper 2 was officially in the making, the fans took a sigh of relief. The relationship of Charlie and Nick has been pretty much smooth till now, so fans really want to see them explore their bond. It's also obvious that as time will pass, the two will develop some problems with their relationship. Not only this, but Charlie will also struggle with his mental health, and that's going to be the focus of the second season. When the show first aired, it became trending in more than 54 countries and got 53 million watch hours. The popularity of the show tells us a lot that people loved watching it and that it's definitely going to be a huge hit with the second season. All you need to do is just wait because Heartstopper 2 will be back on our screens in 2023. The Witcher Season 3 The Witcher Season 2 became one of the most watched TV shows on Netflix, reaching 462.5 million hours hours in view time. The blend of horror, drama, thrill and action doesn't really fail to keep its audience hooked, and now the world of Witcher seems to be growing as the show is also due an anime prequel. But the centre of attention has to be season 3 of The Witcher, starring Henry Cavill. Netflix announced the new season back in September of 2021, and fans were eagerly waiting for an update ever since. Although we don't have a date for the release yet, Henry Cavill himself announced that season 3 will be launching in 2023. In the third season, Geralt will try his absolute best to protect his family and Ciri of Sintra from the beasts and monarchs. The creators have spent quite a lot on the third season, and even Lauren S. Hisrich, the producer of the show, said, Money aside, season three is huge. She surely doesn't reveal the total budget of the show, but with her statement, the anticipation between the fans has increased quite a lot. Also, this might be the last season of Henry Cavill as Geralt, as he won't be coming back for season four, so the fans of the actor would also want to get the most out of it. And that's another reason why Witcher 3 is so hyped up. You, Season 4. You, Season 3 ended on a bit of a cliffhanger as we saw Joe Goldberg in Paris and thought to ourselves, what's he up to again? The fourth season is going to be decisive of what direction the creators are going to give Joe's story. It will also be revealed whether Joe will ever face consequences of the things that he's done or not. The crime thriller show broke records on Netflix when it first aired, and after three successful seasons, it's coming back on Netflix for a fourth season on the 9th of February 2023. But this time, the story is going to be a lot more complicated. Fans can't wait for the fourth rendition of the show because they desperately want to know who's the person Joe is going to be obsessed over next. The director of the show talked to the press about the fourth season and said, The tone is similar, but it's shifting in that there's a different format. We're using a different format. It's almost like we're shifting the genre slightly, and I think it works. This statement from the new director has made the fans even more curious to know how exactly the new season is going to be different from the older ones. Cobra Kai Season 6 Cobra Kai is an absolute classic on Netflix, and it always gets the highest views each season. In fact, the show even has a rating of 100 on Rotten Tomatoes. Also, the show has a huge cultural impact, and the fans are very invested in this Karate Kid cinematic universe sort of thing. The fifth season of the show was also a big hit on Netflix, and it ranked number one on Netflix after just one day of its release. It just means that people are still very invested in the rivalry of Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso. Moreover, the students of Silver will also be making a decision of either joining Miyagi-Do or leaving Karate once and for all. Not only this, but the biggest breakthrough in the sixth season will surely be Crease breaking out of prison and seeking his revenge. It will surely be exciting to watch the lead go through yet another crime crisis, and all that in the midst of the Sekai Taikai International Championship. Never have I ever. 4. With Mindy Kaling announcing that season 4 would be the last season of the show, anticipation and excitement around it has skyrocketed. 
The cliffhanger on which season three ended also hyped things up quite a lot. In the last scene of season three, Maitre shows up to Ben's house to cash out his boink voucher. We'll get to see whether Maitre actually develops feelings for Ben, or was it just a spur of the moment? Lang Fisher, the creator of the show, said in an interview, The love triangle is the skeleton of the show, and you can't take it away for the final season. It means that Paxton and Davey might not be over yet, and he'll surely be making a comeback in Davey's life. So, the question of who Davey is going to pick at last will be answered in the fourth season. And fans can't help but be excited. The show is all set to be released in 2023, and although they don't have a date yet, the production of the show is all done and dusted. So, it's only a matter of a couple of months until we finally see the show on our screens. Sex Education 4 Sex Education has to be one of the most unique shows on Netflix, and that's why it stands out in every season. The show never really fails to disappoint with its corny humour, passionate scenes, and education about the essential things in life like hooking up. As soon as season 3 drops on the platform, Netflix announced a fourth season, and it will most probably be released by mid-2023. The show has been going pretty great with its storyline, but season 4 sounds like the beginning to an end for Sex Education. The creators will set the storyline in a way that it will start moving towards a climax, and they might come back for a season 5, but that would most probably be it. So the fans are really excited to see which direction Otis and Maeve go by the end of season 4. The new season will cover incidents of the students moving from Mordell Secondary to Cavendish Sixth Form College. So it'll be exciting to see how Otis sets up his clinic at his new place, and are Otis and Maeve finally going to get back together? Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. After so much hype behind the original show, Netflix is coming up with yet another royal story that's basically going to be a spin-off of Bridgerton, focusing on the teen years of Queen Charlotte and her rise to power. We'll also get to see her epic love story with the king that's been hinted at many times in the show. The show is the talk of the town these days, because the complex character of Queen Charlotte in Bridgerton quickly won hearts and fans really wanted to know more about her. That's the very reason why the main writer of Bridgerton, Shonda Rhimes, decided to write a show solely for Queen Charlotte. The first look of the show was recently released, and fans can't help but gush over the aesthetics of it. Also, it's being reported that the show will be released in May 2023 on Netflix. Virgin River 5 Virgin River 4 took us all back to the aesthetic sceneries and picture-perfect life. But the last season also felt like a roller coaster of emotions because of the pregnancy of Mel and Jack and Hope's accident. Now, fans are curious to know what happens next, and, well, Netflix has already announced the fifth season of the show, and production is underway. In fact, the show will be up and running by summer 2023. A few clips from behind the scenes have surfaced, and fans can't help but be excited over what's going to go down in the fifth season. Fans are also yet to know how Jack reacts after knowing the complete truth of the baby, and whether he actually decides to be a partner to Mel in all of this or not. Season 5 is going to be the most anticipated season of Virgin River so far because of all the drama and the complications. So, which one of these shows are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments, take care, and thanks for watching.